Hello and welcome to Love Anything Art. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out my second channel, Frugally Delicious. I make budget meals on a budget. Hey guys, welcome to another little fun project. As promised from the previous video, these are all the scraps from that video. But of course, you can use any scraps you want. I'm going to be making a scrap clay project. This is some white clay that had like a little bit of the pink dye that got in it just from over time. So it's a little muddied, but um, you can see the difference there between the actual white color and this one right here that got mixed. So I just went ahead and, you know, thoroughly mixed it through my pasta machine and it's not going to be noticeable in this project. So I was like, you know what, I need to use it anyway. And it's technically scrap because I'm not going to use it in anything else. So going to go ahead and chop all my pieces up of course you know you can chop yours as much or as little as you want I'm kind of going for a mid-grade chop here <laughs> so just break up all of your pieces I'm gonna be using some purple paint just a preference here that's just what I wanted to use you can use any color you want just do a really good thorough coating on there. You want to make sure you get them all nice and coated. And this is actually a combination of a couple of different scrap clay projects I have done in the past. So I went back and was looking through some of my videos. Some of them were cringy, right? But <laughs> some of them were fun. And I was like, you know what? Some of these are really good ideas. So I kind of wanted to incorporate a couple of them together. Bah! Look at that mess, guys. Bah! Bah! So messy, so messy I can't stand it. Once you mix yours, just um, I would recommend putting it on a piece of paper. It's going to kind of help the drying process. Go ahead and like scoot it all around the page so that they're not really all clumped together. It's gonna kind of help dry it faster. And sometimes I even like to do this a couple of times. Like I'll let it dry for a few minutes or 10 minutes and then I'll come back, put it on another piece of paper and kind of continue that just so it's not like sitting in its own mess and because I'm impatient uh, mostly I'm gonna go ahead and not wait till it's 100% dry it's been sitting here for probably like 20 minutes or so but it was a really thick paint I used the thinner the paint the faster it's gonna dry it was a full body paint guys and then I got that into a nice like tubular shape did you know tubular man and then rolled that out and it'll also help get rid of some of the paint on the outside and just to kind of show you its length there I want to mark the halfway point because I'm gonna cover half of this with my messy pink tinged white clay and of course you know use any colors you want to but I was kind of going for a brighter look here you could use you know any color that you liked just wrap half of it in whatever color you choose. And you just want really like a thin layer on there. Um, there is a lot of white, especially in mine, in my scrap clay. So I don't want a huge amount, but I kind of wanted a contrast between the part that's uncovered and the part that's covered so that when I go on to the next step and in the end, you'll kind of see it comes out with like these like little boxy shapes to it. We'll see. You'll see. We'll see. Come on, guys. Long for the journey. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be perfect. Like you can see there wasn't completely covered. I just went and pinched it with my fingers and it, it's fine. It's, it's going to come out in the wash just fine. And you'll see there it kind of made it a little bit longer because I was rolling it. So I want the non- covered side to be just as long so just kind of giving it a gentle roll and you can keep measuring it to see by you know folding it in half to see if you got to the halfway point so they're both about the same length I'm going to cut that in half and you can just like fix the ends there because it kind of does get a little bent you don't want no bent clay guys and I'm just you know pushing them together a little bit I'm not trying to and flatten them or anything and then just start twisting them together now use your creative license here guys and twist away okay twist as much or as little as you want to twist I mean just make sure you twist and shout okay guys <laughs> so uh, yeah 
you just twist it as much as you want and then you're gonna just like gently roll it together. I'm just cutting away the messy ends because they didn't quite line up once you twist it a little bit. One hand gets a little twistier than the other so they don't come out perfect on the end. And then just give it a gentle roll. You can actually roll it out as thin as you want to. Totally up to you. I went for like a, a mid-grade thin uh, roll, if you will, as you'll see here. And it's got this nice twisty shape still, and you could twist it again if you wanted to. You could cut it in half and twist them together again. I mean, the sky's the limit at this point. Just play with it. It's scrap clay anyway, right? But um, I'm not going to twist it anymore. I'm just going to cut all these down into even length pieces. And this is the best way I found because just measuring with your eyeball doesn't always um, come out with the most accurate of cuts. So I just like to bend it in half and then kind of cut it and then extend it again. And then you can measure it that way. So I'm just going to kind of briefly show you all the times that I cut it so if you are following along and want to kind of duplicate it to pretty much the T of what I'm doing then this is for you and I'll end up cutting it one more time they're kind of cute all scrunched up like that they kind of look like little candy canes mm, candy canes Do you guys ever have those days where, you know, you just can't kick your backside into gear? Yeah, that was today for me. Like, I'm just dragging my feet through all of it. <laughs> just, you know, sometimes you're like, you know, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't drag your feet through things. You should just, you know, take the day off. But then, if that was the case, I'd probably take a lot of days off. But sometimes I feel like when I push through on things that um, the day ends up coming out better in the end. Let me know if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> or if I'm just yabbering on. Just getting a little personal time here with the clay time. And I trimmed up all of the sides. So it was nice even. And at this point, you can kind of cut it however you want to. I'm going to cut it down the long side. But this is the short side. You could cut it into thick pieces and then lay them out. This is the other side. And you can even just cut the clay in half if you've made it really thick and just fold it over and like make it a mirror image of itself pretty much. I mean, you could totally do what you wanted to at this point. But I'm going to cut it into like little strips, but making them kind of thick. So I do like to measure it out before I cut because I feel like that just gives you um, the best measurement. And I do want it to be thick enough so when I lay it on its side that it's thick enough that I cut out my clay and it's not like super thin or flimsy so just visualizing that and then cutting little hash marks into the side of the clay so that if I mess up I can just make new hash marks and then you can go back and make your official cut into the clay ah it's so satisfying And then just put them back together, line them up. It doesn't really matter because it's all just, you know, kind of a, a jumbled mess in there, kind of. But I like the little pops of colors in there, like the pink and the yellows. It's like a neon yellow and neon pink look in there. So I don't know. It's kind of fun. I just lightly burnished it all together and I didn't really change the thickness too much of it. So this is it. It kind of like... Reminds me of like a newspaper cartoon clip. I don't know if that makes sense. Like a color newspaper, of course. It's not black and white. Um, but I can almost see like little creatures in there or like little um, faces. I even see like a little cat face in one of them. Maybe that's just me because <laughs> I love cats. This is the scraps from this project. Uh, there's always scraps, guys. It's, it's just inevitable. So I mixed it up and I made this pretty purple color and I do have a color box that I put all these in and I just use them. And these are the shapes that I cut out. Super simple, but I don't know, they're kind of fun. What do you think? I love the colors. It's just so simple. I don't know, it's very light and just kind of carefree and fun. And you can just kind of stare at it for a while and look at all the little shapes and 
swirls and patterns and flecks of color. I like the way this looks too. I'm really into the like teardrop shape lately. Well, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of using some scraps. You know, get your scraps out, guys, and start playing along. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!